On January 22nd, 2020, I left where I'm at right now. I was bound for a short trip as I normally take uh, as I was cycling around the world uh, on my recumbent trike. My intention on my journey was always to circumnavigate the entire world using not just the trike, but the trike is my primary mode of transportation. Along the way, I stopped and then uh, also traveled back to see Annie and my daughter, Eva, in China. This was one of those trips back in January of 2020. I left my trike, I left all of my travel gear, my cameras, my ride computer, my travel clothes, batteries, all my cycling equipment, repair equipment, all of that stuff with my trike folded up at uh, a place called Silka May Tower, which was a kind of a nice hotel in the middle of Kuala Lumpur. That's just me, sir. This is your car. Be no, you. I don't have a car. Okay. If you want to give me the car, I'll take the car. <laughs> <laughs> if he wants to give me a car, I'll take a car. Anyways, so I, uh, I left all of my stuff and I went back to China. This was around Chinese New Year. And if any of you are watching this video within the next decade or two, maybe, you'll understand that uh, the year of 2020's Chinese New Year was interrupted by a certain pandemic from Wuhan. So when I got to Ningbo, China, which is where Eva and Annie are, uh, we got rumblings of some crazy things happening in Wuhan. <laughs> Turns out it was a global pandemic. Who would have thought? And so my trike, my gear, and everything that was regarding my world tour, regarding my passion at the time, was in Kuala Lumpur, the capital of Malaysia. So that's where we are today. We are in Kuala Lumpur, fast forward over two years. I tried many times to get my trike to the United States, to try to arrange a reunion of this trike with my global journey. And as I reshuffled my entire purpose on my trip, I even tried to make sure that there was always a place for the trike. And as we walk around today, we'll talk about my interesting journey uh, during the pandemic, but more importantly, my trike's interesting journey during the pandemic as well. Because while I was living in China, traveling in the United States, having to deal with COVID in China, COVID outside of China, moving to America, dealing with life uh, without my trike, trying to reorganize my journey, trying to understand my new purpose. My trike was on its own interesting purpose-driven journey. Without me, alone in the world, it was trying to exist. Surprisingly, it's, a, it's a, an interesting, rich story, which I'm gonna tell you. Uh, it's not like it was sitting in a storage unit for this entire time. It was actually moving quite a lot. Walking through here, it just makes me miss this, this type of traveling, the uh, traveling through Asia, traveling through the tropics. Man, I miss it. I feel like all of us have sort of been restricted from doing the things that we really want to do for so long. Our muscle memory for it has kind of reduced. As a matter of fact, even making these videos, I used to be a lot better at it. And I could go through and just really pound these things out. I used to have like almost a sixth sense for how to how to record and how to tell a story and all of this stuff. And now it's just not as not as uh, fluid. Okay, so our first stop brings us here. This is the May Tower by Silka, and I came here by chance actually when I first arrived to Kuala Lumpur on the original trip. And I remember thinking I had been riding through some pretty hot days in pretty rough rough places and I said you know what I'm gonna stay somewhere somewhere a little bit nicer sometimes I treated myself from time to time so I picked this place in retrospect picking this hotel was one of the best decisions that I could make because when I stored the trike here the whole staff was very professional and very helpful a lot of times when I do take a trip back to China along my journey I would be staying at a hostel or some maybe a homestay and then you put the trike in their basement or I put my trike in their parking lot and I, I would, you know, I would have to really get back in time in order to, to take my trike off of their hands. Anyways, the, the Tiger Ducks uh, Kuala Lumpur COVID journey starts right here. 
This building is actually a, a residence for people living in Malaysia, but it's also like a number of the floors are set for hotels, and so they used to manage a hotel here. So behind this desk, you know, was a manager, and then that was the lobby of the hotel, and you know, the story of the trike is also the story of Malaysia because as my trike took residence up here, because that's kind of what it did, it, it was stored in a room in, in behind the hotel. Time went on and COVID started to really grab its teeth into this country. And ho places like a hotel, a lot of them didn't survive. And this was one of them. And so the trike sort of stayed in a back room of, of this hotel for a while until the manager called me and said that we're gonna close down the hotel, you're gonna to have to move the trike. I, I was in a bit of a panic because I couldn't fly to Malaysia to take care of it. And uh, I had to rely on the kindness of a lot of strangers and the kindness of a lot of subscribers to help me to take the trike from here and move it to the next place, which was quite a, quite a drive south of here to another Silka property which is called Silka Churras. I'm not even allowed in the building right now because it's only for residents of the living spaces inside, inside this building. So, kind of crazy. This whole segment of businesses throughout one of the most populous and busy cities in Malaysia, and so many businesses had trouble, it's crazy. So I reached out to my friend uh, whose screen name on YouTube is Nobody Banana. Nobody Banana has uh, helped me actually get home from the airport yesterday at like one o'clock in the morning. And now he's gonna come by and he's gonna drive us to the, uh, the next location that we're headed towards. So you'll, you'll get to meet him. I'm waiting outside the hotel, he's gonna pick me up and then we're gonna move on to the next place. Okay, so we are on our way. This is Nobody Banana. If anybody's in the comment section, say hello to Nobody Banana. He has been nice enough to take us to the first location Oh, actually the second location. The first one was Silka May Tower. This one is a Silka Churras. Manager at Silka May Tower contacted me a number of months ago, like about probably about a year into the pandemic. Now, I had only intended to keep the trike there for two weeks. <laughs> so they were really nice to keep it in its own room stored away. And so uh, they called, called me and said that the hotel was going to be shutting down and I'm going to have to figure out a new place to keep it. I asked them if, if they had any ideas and they said, well, we have another property that's on the outskirts of Kuala Lumpur and we can keep it there. I mean, the trike is fully assembled and they're loading it into a vehicle and they're taking it to a new location and they put it in a storage room at this other hotel. When we get there, you'll see the hotel is closed. As, as with many properties in, in Malaysia during that time, it couldn't sustain uh, business, so it had to close down. I mean, how many businesses closed down because of the pandemic? Mostly all of it. I mean, I was talking to the hotel owner, and he said at least 50% of the hotels in, in this area of Malaysia could not exist, it just had to shut down. Yeah, only pharmacies, clinic, hospital. Yeah, yeah, those businesses were pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> in America, you know, and it is difficult. I'm not trying to discount the problems that we all experienced during COVID, but uh, countries like this, which which aren't as economically uh, profitable or prosperous as, as, as America, that's one of the things I'd like to do as I travel around with my podcast is start to talk to people about what their lives were like during this period of time and what sort of things they had to deal with because every country handled it differently and, and had different resources to handle it differently. So after the trike left the Silka May Tower, it moved here. There's nothing going on here now. Although those lights are on, there's a few lights around. My trike stayed here at this building for probably about six months. And while it sat here, I worried about it. But they sent me pictures. Actually, I remember a picture of the trike sitting right over here, actually. But there was a moment where I, I went to the United States and I felt like maybe I could, get, I could get the trike back. So I had to arrange a bike shop that's local to here, very pretty close, to help me to uh, take the trike and disassemble it and prepare it for shipping. To where, uh, to where I was at the time in the United States. So I was trying to get my trike. So the tiger duck sat in another room here all alone, and then eventually some other people abducted it. All these strangers, where's my owner Matt, he's saying. And so they took the trike and uh, we went to a local bike shop. Let's check out the local bike shop.
This is a performer. He actually sold one trike here at the shop before, so he he knows what what the how to how to take it apart a little bit. And uh, performer is a company in Taiwan. I actually went to the factory that makes this this recumbent bicycle, and they make recumbent trikes too. The smell of rubber. Hey, <laughs> how you doing? Hi, how are you? Good, good. Oh. Long time. <laughs> no, long. so long time. Just... Are you hungry? You want to get some lunch? Uh, okay. Yeah. Go on. We can do something local or anything. He says, "Do you eat? Do you eat fish head?" I says, "Hell yeah, I eat fish head." I've been in America for a year now, and. The food that you get in Asia is a little bit different, you know? Oyster? No, this one is uh, onion egg, fish balls. Alright, so we got an omelette, we got some fish balls, we got us a fish head and some rice. So this is a uh, fish cake. Is uh, they use a type of fish? They they call it a si tao yu. Yeah, fish cake is pretty popular in Asia. Got some nice sweet sauce here. I like fish cake. Iowa. Is there a Malaysian word that does Iowa? No. All right. Somebody's coming down right now. Oh man! How's it going? Good. How you doing? Good. Man? Good. Good. Good to see you. Good to hey, see you. You, you, you find the place okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. How was your flight? Yeah. Good. Long. This is where it's been living yeah. for a while. Yeah. Come on in. Oh, that's a big. That's bigger than I remember. It is really big. That is big. It's, it's only big. one box? No, two boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one here. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you can just put down here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is this what you make here? Yeah, yeah. These containers? Yeah, plastic bottles. Okay. Yeah. Holy shit, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Yes. I remember you said you want to get a taxi. Yeah, I was thinking. Uh, yeah, I think that this this might be able to fit in your car in the back seat. Oh, this is fucking heavy, man. Yeah. How did you find the whole thing? Was Danny contact you? There were two guys that contacted Danny and the other guy. I can't Kevin. remember his name. Uh, Kevin? Kevin from the bike company. From the bike company? Yeah. Okay, so he came first, Kevin. He dropped, I'm not sure which one he dropped, but he dropped this one off first. Okay. And then Kevin came a week later. Okay. He dropped this one off. I mean, oh. no, Danny. Danny, Danny, Danny. Danny, Danny. Danny this one. So he's been sitting here all this time. Yeah, yeah. Because I think, you know, it's clean. It's, it's safe. safe. It's nothing, safe. Yeah, nothing bad is going to happen. Let's see if we okay. can fit it in a okay. vehicle okay. first. I'll get my, my stuff to Okay, okay. Uh, just give me one second. Okay. No, it's not heavy. Yeah, it's not heavy. It's just awkward. Is it going to fit? I don't think so. I don't think so. It's just, just, just don't, don't, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. The, actually, the smaller one will fit in the back, I think. Is this okay? If, is this legal? If there was a rope, we can. Uh, yeah. The second one can fit here, I think. It's okay, we can figure it out. Yes, I, um, we're gonna get a. Don't, don't, don't uh, uh, force it. Okay. Cool, yeah. man. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. All right. Okay. Thank, Thank you for you keeping man. it for so long, man. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm going to awesome. take a picture with you. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. I watch a lot of your YouTube <laughs> you videos, okay. especially the China <laughs> one. Yeah. With Guelo 60, <laughs> Lee Barrett, yeah, the Mexicanos yeah, yeah. in China. I love it. I love it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So Adrian here, he helped me out a lot. Huh? You go to the oh, gym a little bit. A little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> You're very strong. I'm not. Just a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. You're welcome. It's been You're really. Welcome. Yeah. The, been a journey. <laughs> it's, it's been a very, you know, I, during COVID, I have no choice, you know. Cool. Well, have a safe trip. Thank Back. you. Yeah, have a good trip. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, nice yeah. to meet you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot. All right, take care. Take care. All right. Bye bye. Okay, we have the trike. The eagle has landed. The tiger duck has landed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the trike 
and we we're gonna go back to the bike shop and see Kevin because what you guys don't know is that there's a friend of mine and he is in Australia and Mark would like to have the frame of the trike there are some things on the on the trike though right now that I want to take off the front gear and the uh, rear roll-off speed hub and if we can take those things off using the bike shop then I, I can send the frame to Australia tomorrow and uh, sort of stay ahead of the curve. I, I'm really uh, capitalizing on your generosity <laughs> to, to give me a give me a ride all of these places. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool. Right, Jason. Here we are. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> Park here again. Okay, we, we I'll move it. it. Yeah. yeah, I want to take but this one I want to send to oh. so separate. separate. So I need to take this off. These are all the open. Just yeah, open them all and then open I just take this out. Feels like it's been forever ago since I saw it. Poor guy. Poor guy. Is that the coffee? Yeah. How do you drink it? Yeah, you have straw. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. It's funny, you, you can't you can't see it in America or in in China, they don't do like this. Oh, yours is iced. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so we have uh, taken the trike and we've disassembled what we can. I disassembled the rear assembly, the tires. I really pulled the whole thing apart. I separated off my... Uh, my front chain ring and uh, a schlump drive and then over here my roll-off speed hub which is all packed up and ready to go and uh, my front headlight i think i'm going to load it all back into the car and then we'll be good tonight i'm going to call my friend in australia and see exactly how much stuff he wants and anything that he doesn't really really want like really want because shipping that stuff to Australia is going to be a little bit expensive and honestly the frame of the tiger duck it's got a few years on it rough rough miles but the crew here has has helped quite a bit Kevin's not here but his crew is here and we we kind of figured out how to get the schlump drive up off and the and the roll off and stuff that building's kind of interesting huh it's it's the exterior of it looks very institutional but when you look really close it has a really beautiful pattern to it there's some really nice architecture here in uh, Kuala Lumpur in fact it's a lot of cool architecture all over Asia really neat we're on our way back to the hotel um, and man these these motorcycles just love to cruise cruise in the middle lane here don't open your door <laughs> Oh no. Do you want me to open the door? No. <laughs> I don't want you to kill somebody. Alright boss. Okay. Thank you son. Thank you. Have a good drive back. I'll get it. Bye okay. bye. Okay, I'll see you Saturday. Now we've got to take it into the apartment. This is... <laughs> it's, it's a lot of stuff. But it needs to be broken up. One of the best things about being a YouTuber is the family that you find on YouTube. There's some people today, like soon, that are my su subscribers. They're part of my you know, YouTube family. And he helped huge driving me around today. I, sometimes I take for granted what, uh, what people do for me. Um, I try not to, obviously. Uh, but, you know, you really, I realized that today having him drive me all the places that he drove me, um, it, was, it was great, very great. But it also having uh, to be able to visit the different people, like the bike shop owner, who he doesn't know who I am, but he knows somebody who knows somebody who knows who I am. And when I say knows who I am, these are all people that have, have known me through YouTube, you know? So it's just really, really neat. And so now being able to like, look at everything on the ground. I'm going to send some of these pictures off to my friend in Australia who I'm going to send all this stuff to and, and be like, sure you want this? You sure you want this? And then tomorrow, 
um, I'll take it to DHL and my mission tomorrow will be shipping his stuff off to Australia and packing up everything that I want to take to the Czech Republic. I'm really ahead of the ball today. I didn't expect to get so much done and it's only seven o'clock so I still have a lot of time to pack this stuff up and, and, and make sure that it's all in order. Very cool. So I'm uh, going through all of this stuff here and trying to repack it and everything. And one thing, just to kind of give you an idea of, of just time and the, the properties of time and this thing sitting on its own for so long, is that this is like a rubber gripper to, to grab the bag strap. And I grabbed this one and it just, it's literally, it's it's like it's like the the rubber has just disintegrated. <laughs> it's gross. It's stuck to my to my thumb. Oh, it's so gross. <laughs> Everything is so faded. It's just sitting around for two and a half years, stuck in a, some corner room. You know, hot baking every day. <laughs> 